everybody, Gina DeLuca here. All right, today I'm gonna to be trying something a little different. I'm going to have a split base wandering straight board. And I'm sure you've been seeing these colors all over the place. This is a little something I'm doing in solidarity. The people uh, in Ukraine, I cannot even imagine what uh, life is like there. And my heart also goes out to the Russian people who don't want this either. So this is a, this is my Ukraine flag inspired uh, piece here. And uh, yeah, so here we, here we go. <laughs> um, the colors I'm using are Amsterdam Brilliant Blue and the Liquitex Basics in cadmium yellow light hue. Um, my first straight pours that I ever did where I got my accidental cells, uh, number 15 and 16, this was the catalyst for the cells. So uh, the consistency that we're working with, well first I mixed these one part paint with two parts Floetrol and then thinned with my concoction of 90% water and 10% Floetrol. That's this here. Um, until I got the consistency that I was looking for, which is, it is about a two, maybe a one and three quarters, slightly under a two, but it is making a mound, but it disappears very quickly. This is a 16 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. And uh, yeah, let's get this party started, shall we? Before we get started, have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration cards? If you have, you can fast forward about a minute, but if you have not, what we have are 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards, and each technique card has an associated video here on YouTube that gives you all of the information that you need. If you want to try to replicate that technique, uh, exactly, it gives you the exact paint brands and colors and recipes for the pouring medium, all of that good stuff. This is the picture of the painting in that video. This box here contains a tip for that particular painting. And down here you have the color palette that was used in that painting. And then these two boxes can be used together as the basis of a two color palette, or you can build off of those colors. And there are eight bonus color palette cards. Each one has five color palettes. You can use all of the colors or just some of the colors. Mix and match the bonus palette cards with the technique cards and you have more paintings, more combinations than you could ever paint in a lifetime. These are available at my website, ginadeluga.net and also on uh, uh, amazon.com. And if you get them from Amazon, please do leave feedback. They are sticklers for algorithms over there and feedback is a giant part of that. As you can see, I've already covered my edges because my straight pour mix is pretty thin and I wanted to make sure that I had good coverage on the sides. Um, sometimes when your mix is thin, uh, your canvas can show through as the paint drips off. We don't want that. So I'm just covering the edges first just to uh, Make sure that doesn't happen. Adjusting my base coat application technique a bit here. And if I am a uh, making fewer videos in the near future. I am in the middle of a move. As y'all know, that is time consuming and expensive. So, uh, expensive time-wise, I should say. So the, uh, Videos may not be quite as frequent while I am prepping for my move, 
But once I am settled in, I will actually be upping my painting game. You will be seeing way more of me than you have been. But in the meantime, I have a whole house to pack up. So I'm a busy, busy, very busy girl. And this process is not kind on my back either. But the uh, internet <laughs> is set up over there and I have the fastest internet speeds that are available, which is gonna be like 1200 download and 35 upload. Right now, on a good day, on a really good day, my downloads are in the 20s and my uploads are <laughs> In the threes. So having a 35 upload speed is going to be amazing and I honestly just cannot wait to be able to up my painting game because when I am uploading a video here it kind of <laughs> ruins the internet experience for everyone because everything slows down and we all need the internet here. So, uh-oh, contaminated that. Let me wipe this off real quick. All right, my base coat is down, and I'm gonna put some paint in a cup. I'm going to start with my blue. I'm gonna add this yellow, allowing it to sink. Hopefully I mix these thin enough. I'm so used to those satin enamels. And I know when I did my original first pour, straight pours, the paint was even thinner than this. And then some blue on top, that helps with your cell action. Let's make a mess, shall we? Okay, I'm going to take my torch, I'm going to pop these bubbles. And I'm going to let this sit for a bit.
as I stretch this, I will get more of these cells. I call them pop-up cells. That is how these cells do. So I'm actually going to tilt some of this off. This is more paint than I need. This would be enough paint to cover this whole canvas. But I want it to be able to have some control over the composition. Definitely want to make sure I keep some of that solid yellow and the solid blue. And again, as I move this around, more cells will pop up. bit more green in there than I was hoping for. That happens. I'm trying to decide how I feel about this. Part of me wants to stretch this out more. And that, and get rid of this yellow. but then it's not really a split piece anymore, is it? <laughs> oh, let's see, what shall we do? I do have a bit of yellow left. This just feels unbalanced to me. So what I may do, it looks like that's what I'm doing, is praying that this is enough.
That feels better to me. It felt unbalanced. All right, I'm gonna hit this with the torch again. That usually brings up a bit more cell action. You'll notice that after I tilt when I'm doing boulder cells, I don't torch after I tilt. But I'm going for pop-up cells here and so I will. I don't want pop-up cells coming up through my boulders. And when this dries, I may have some blue showing through my sides here because I painted the sides blue on this side. That's okay, I know exactly what color I used. It's not a custom blend and I can just come in and touch up those sides and make it a nice solid cadmium yellow. All right, I'm gonna let this sit and see what it does. And I will bring you in for a close up. back in a few. Okay, here it is. I do like it better with the yellow on both sides. It feels more balanced to me. And we got some yellow cells. I got some green in there. I have been able to do this without them mixing. I think I need it maybe for them to be a bit thinner, ironically. But uh, there it is. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you did. Do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined. All of my affiliate links, DecoArt, Blick, Amazon, Arteza. If you enter through those links, anything that you purchase off of those websites, I will receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. And also in the description box, you'll find a link to my website, ginadeluga.net, where you can find my art and music and fluid art inspiration cards for sale. And of course, the cards are also available on Amazon. And last but not least, you'll find the link to our Facebook group. Go make some art, join us there, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. And yeah, I think that's it. For today there may be a bit of a break in between uh, my my paintings I will try to continue to upload frequently but uh, again you know the move keeps me busy so that is it for today y'all I hope you have a beautiful day now go make some art